Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SV News Break for Monday, November 3rd. The 19th annual Santa Clarita Marathon was held Sunday on a course that ran through every town that makes up the city of Santa Clarita. Over 5,000 runners participated in the race, which is a qualifier for the Boston Marathon. A couple of fun facts with this year's race. Six runners have participated in every single Santa Clarita Marathon since it began in 1995. And 62-year-old Raul Santana of San Fernando made the race his 355th marathon. Santana has run a marathon in every single state. The male winner was 26-year-old Zachary Griffin of Los Angeles, crossing the finish line in 2 hours, 44 minutes, and 14 seconds. The female winner was 32-year-old Shannon Landers, who posted a 3-hour, 21-minute, and 58-second time. But with over 5,000 participants, there were over 5,000 stories being told. Well, just finished half marathon. I got my PR, took him with me, and he pushed me out the way. But <laughs> Joey did good. I had to slow him down an hour after. <laughs> he, he ran it an hour and a half last time, but he ran with the papa. The oldest female runner in the half marathon was 74-year-old Willie Toth who completed her second Santa Clarita Half Marathon. Had it not been for this one, my son, I wouldn't have gotten through it. He really was a good coach. Absolutely awesome. What made him a good coach? <laughs> Just because he was with you? Yeah, and, and he pushes a little, yeah? which is a good thing when you're a runner. So, yes, I plan to do this as long as I can, every year with him. An unattended candle flame was the cause of a devastating house fire in Newhall early Sunday morning. One L.A. County firefighter suffered minor injuries in the incident. One woman was inside the Pine Street home located between 4th and 5th Streets in Newhall when the blaze began. She was not injured. The home was fully engulfed in flames when emergency crews arrived just after 1 in the morning Sunday. Lieutenant Tom Brisky of the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station says the damage is estimated to be about $140,000. A firefighter from Station 73 said there was no power to the house and the woman who lived there woke up when she heard a popping sound and saw flames. Voters will head to the polls Tuesday for, for Election Day. Here in Santa Clarita, Republican Steve Knight and Tony Strickland are in the running to replace 11-term Congressman Howard Buck McKeon in the 25th Congressional District. Democrat Jorge Fuentes is looking to win the 38th district seat in the state assembly, currently held by Republican Scott Wilk. Voters in the Saugus Union School District will also decide on Measure Double E, a school bond designed to fund classroom upgrades in the district, and a highly contested billboard deal between the city and Metro, Measure S, which calls for the removal of 62 advertising structures within the city to be replaced with three double-sided digital billboards near the 14 and 5 freeway is also on the ballot. Polls will open at 7 a.m. and close at 8 p.m., just after the polls close, COC's Cougar News team will be providing live, up-to-the-minute election results here on SCV TV. The advanced media production students will be joined by local political analysts and candidates. Tune into SCV TV on Time Warner Cable Channel 20, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, or SCVTV.com to watch. The Heart District now has a superintendent and a superintendent-elect until Rob Shalinor's February retirement, according to contracts obtained by KHTS AM 1220. Former Deputy Superintendent Vicki Engbrecht has been elevated to superintendent-elect, which means she'll essentially be the one in charge, leaving Shalinor's responsibilities within the district to special projects, but with the superintendent title. As for Shalinor's role starting November 1, district officials say he'll be, quote, including but not limited to working on the California Voter Rights Act as we shift to trustee area voting, end quote. He's scheduled to retire February 1st next year. The Day of the Dead was celebrated in Newhall this weekend. Let's take a look. Dia de los Muertos is a day that we celebrated similar to Memorial Day. This is a specific um, holiday to the Mexican culture. Um, and those also celebrate in Latin America, and it's specific for celebrating those that have passed away before us. So this is really honoring our ancestors. It's our first annual event, and uh, we're celebrating this day with um, the Santa Clarita Latino Chamber of Commerce. Eternal Valley is hosting it and my program, Demi Sueños Cultural Arts Program. What we like to do here at Eternal Valley is we have remembrance ceremonies for families every day. 
And uh, for Memorial Day, we have remembrance for veterans that serviced us. End of the year, we have a candlelight remembrance for families that we've serviced. And this year is no different. It's just a cultural celebration for those that, we've, uh, that we remember. And I'm really careful to talk to the community and remind them that Dia de los Muertos is not Halloween. We don't do Halloween at the cemetery, but we do celebrate life, and that's what we're doing today. Turning to weather, cool autumn weather filled the air Monday in Santa Clarita, where daytime highs topped out at 69 degrees. Clear skies and lows in the mid-40s are in store overnight. We'll see temperatures warm up later this week. Sunny skies are expected through Friday, with highs topping out at 88 degrees on Thursday. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.